Royal Society for the Protection of Birds says it's been overrun with reports that birds of prey are being illegally killed since lockdown began. It's thought the quieter countryside has made it easier for criminals to target them. A recent case involved a buzzard which had been shot near Saddleworth. Here's our environment correspondent, Judy Hobson. A buzzard found in the Peak District three weeks ago. This x-ray shows it had been shot. It was found here on Saddleworth Moor. The RSPB says since lockdown began, there's been a 400% increase in the illegal killing of birds of prey. Lockdown has kind of emboldened the criminals out there who want to kill birds of prey. So they think that with the restrictions that have been imposed, there'd be less people out in the countryside and there's less chance of being caught. Two birds were found dead in Cumbria last month. Other birds targeted include hen harriers, peregrine falcons and red kites. It's an issue that's plagued the countryside for years and the RSPB has consistently pointed the finger at gamekeepers protecting young grouse. In two thirds of the prosecutions that have ended up in court for bird of prey persecution since 1990, two thirds of those have been gamekeepers. The charity says the number of birds found dead since lockdown began equates to a bird being killed every single day. I really dispute these figures. I would love to have a proper investigation into exactly where they're coming from. The RSPB are using birds of prey as a cash cow. It's not proportionate, effective investigation. We must let the police get on with their job. We will expel anybody who is convicted of, of, a, of a wildlife crime of this nature. The RSPB says it stands by its figures and says the police are investigating every single incident. Campaign groups such as Wild Justice also believe more birds have been targeted since lockdown. But a row over figures perhaps distracts from an inherent problem which shows no sign of going away. These are majestic birds of prey and creatures that people come out into the countryside to see and despite 65 years of legal protection, they are still being targeted. Judy Hobson, BBC Northwest Tonight, Diggle, near Saddleworth.